The next idiom I want us to quickly look at is to give somebody a bumpy ride. To give somebody a bumpy ride. In case you don't know, this idiom means to give somebody a difficult time. To give somebody a difficult time. If you give somebody a difficult time, then we say you have given that person a bumpy ride. Very quickly, the next idiom I want us to look at is to be in rude health. To be in rude health. In case you don't know, this idiom means to be strong and healthy. To be strong and healthy. If you are strong and healthy, then we say you are in rude health. The next idiom I want us to look at is to steal the show. To steal the show. In case you don't know, this idiom means to attract all attention. To attract all attention. If you attract all attention, then we say you have stolen the show. In case you don't know, the idiom to steal the show is the same as the idiom to be the synosure of all eyes. To be the synosure of all eyes. The reason is that if you are the synosure of all eyes, then we say you are the center of attraction. So, to steal the show is the same as to be the synosure of all eyes. The next idiom I want us to look at is a flash in the pan. A flash in the pan. In case you don't know, this idiom means a chance occurrence that does not last for long. A chance occurrence that does not last for long. If something occurs by chance or by luck and does not last for long, then we say it is a flash in the pan. Very quickly, the next idiom I want us to look at is a boat from the blue. A boat from the blue. In case you don't know, this idiom means a sudden occurrence. A sudden occurrence. If something occurs suddenly or unexpectedly, then we say it is a boat from the blue. The next idiom I want us to look at is a white elephant project. A white elephant project. In case you don't know, this idiom means something that is costly but of little or no use at all. Something that is costly but of little or no use at all. If something is costly, that is expensive, but it is of low utility value, then we say it is a white elephant project. Very quickly, the next idiom I want us to look at is to beg the question. To beg the question. In case you don't know, this idiom means to deviate from the real issue. To deviate from the real issue. If you deviate from the real issue, then we say you are begging the question. The next idiom I want us to look at is to skate on thin ice. To skate on thin ice. In case you don't know, this idiom means to expose yourself to danger. To expose yourself to danger. If you expose yourself to danger, then we say you are skating on thin ice. The next idiom I quickly want us to look at is a cock and bull story. A cock and bull story. In case you don't know, this idiom means an incredible or an unbelievable story. An incredible or an unbelievable story is what we call a cock and bull story. The next idiom I want us to look at is to give somebody the elbow. To give somebody the elbow. In case you don't know, this idiom means to reject or dismiss somebody. If you reject or dismiss somebody, 
then we say you have given the person the elbow. Please do not confuse the idiom to give somebody the elbow for the idiom to give somebody the bird. If you give somebody the bird, then it means you have criticized or condemned the person. If you criticize or condemn a person, then you have given the person the bird. But if you reject or dismiss somebody, then you have given the person the elbow. The next idiom I quickly want us to look at is to accept something with a pinch or grain of salt. To accept something with a pinch or grain of salt. In case you don't know, this idiom means to doubt or question something. If you doubt or question something, then we say you have accepted that thing with a pinch or grain of salt. Very quickly, the next idiom I want us to look at is to pull the wool over somebody's eyes. To pull the wool over somebody's eyes. In case you don't know, this idiom means to dupe a person. To dupe a person. If you dupe a person, then we say you have pulled the wool over the person's eyes. In case you don't know, the idiom to pull the wool over somebody's eyes is the same as the idiom to throw dust into somebody's eyes. And both of them mean to dupe a person. Very quickly, the next idiom I want us to look at is Dutch courage. Dutch courage. In case you don't know, this idiom means courage induced by alcohol. Courage induced by alcohol. Courage induced by alcohol or courage gotten from taking alcohol is what we call Dutch courage. The next idiom I want us to look at is to go Dutch with somebody. To go Dutch with somebody. In case you don't know, this idiom means to share expenses or split the bills with somebody. If you share expenses or split the bills with somebody, then we say you have gone Dutch with that person. The next idiom I want us to look at is to turn the corner. To turn the corner. In case you don't know, this idiom means to recover from sickness or to get better. To recover from sickness or to get better. If you recover from sickness or you get better, then we say you have turned the corner. Please do not confuse the idiom to turn the corner for the idiom to cut corners. To cut corners, in case you don't know, is to find the shortest ways of doing things. If you find the shortest ways of doing things, then we say you have cut corners. But if you recover from sickness or you get better, then we say you have turned the corner. 